Okay, once again, I find myself in Bacchus, Minnesota to get more repairs done on my trailer. I picked this trailer up on April the 7th of this year, and I put, when I left Bacchus with it, I went across to Wyoming and Colorado, and then I went to Kansas, and then I went home. So I was basically on the road for about a month then. Okay, I came back out in August of this year, and I'm still on the road now, and it's a week before Thanksgiving. So basically, I've spent about five months and about 20,000 miles in this trailer. I have three major things that need to be fixed and a bunch of little things, so here I am back and back. So the first thing that happened to the trailer was a rivet popped out right here, but I've covered it with this decal, so you can't see it. And then the front light above the propane tank right here, it has a short in it, and I jumped it, and so I know the switch is bad on it, so that needs to be replaced. Okay, this is actually my right side tire, but I had to take the spare off and put it on and put the right side tire here because when I got to California, you can see it's almost completely bald, and that's only 12,000 miles, I think. You should get a lot more than 12,000 miles out of a tire, especially a Michelin. Okay, this is a left side tire, and it's got about probably 14,000 miles on it, and I still don't think that's good mileage for these tires, so we're gonna have to talk about that. And I did go out and buy me a high pressure air gauge to keep up with the air pressure, because they take six to eight pounds of pressure in them. But anyway, those are my first th two issues, so Let's go to the third one. Okay, now I'm inside. Like I said, I, I'm very, very happy with the Scamp trailer. Overall, it did real good. It's just all the little, little things. Like, one of the things is, you know, the, the window knobs fell off. They won't stay on. Okay. The fan's already been replaced once, and it's beginning to move slow. Okay. The DVD on the TV doesn't work. Neither does the remote. And the bracket they use for the TV, I mean, you can see it won't even hold the TV up, so that needs to be fixed, okay? Another one of the big things is the air condition unit. It works sometimes, and then it doesn't work. And when it does work, it doesn't put out like it should. Our air condition that size should run you out of this trailer with either the heat or the air condition running, but it does not, so that needs to be taken care of. Okay, the closet door right here, it got ripped off when I was going to Prince Albert National Park up in Canada. The roads were just so bad, and I guess it just ripped it off the hinges right here, so it fell in the floor. And a lot of the trim work won't stay on. I mean, and Kent, the owner of this company, told me it was all glued in place. And I told him none of mine was glued in place, because if you look at the 45 cuts, you can see where it's done slid down, and I mean, you look around the door, hopefully y'all can see that, but I mean, I think somebody had a bad day the way they cut around this door, because I mean, that looks terrible. And then right here on the screen, hopefully y'all can see it, but screws have popped out right there. Okay. And then down here, oh, the stove cover broke, so that needs to be replaced. And down here, this, the door below the sofa, it ripped off the hinges too. Hopefully you can see that, but see, I mean, it's just for bumpy roads or either they didn't put it together. And then down the bottom of the cabinet, hopefully you can see them, but the screws are popping out. I mean, they're just coming slam out. Okay. I mean, I, I got a list of everything that needs to be done. Another thing, the plug they gave you, plug into 110, that's what it looked like. My son unplugged it one day and I guess it blew out. So I went ahead and I upgraded for $12 to something more heavy duty where I can plug into 110, you know, when I'm at home or whatever. But anyway, I mean, see the miter cuts? I mean, all the trim work is sliding down. I ho hopefully y'all can see that. but. Overall, I'm real happy with the scam. It's just all the little things that need to be repaired in it and taken care of. But I've talked to the owner, Kent, 
and he hooked me up with Mike and service, and I got an appointment for Monday morning to go in and get it all taken care of, but like I said, overall, I'm super happy with my scamp, and this is my five-month, 20,000-mile review, and, you know, I hope you all enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. I wish you luck with your scamp trailer. Just when you pick it up, check it out real good, and then keep up with things and make a list because they're very good at taking care of what needs to be fixed as long as it's not abused. And I don't, I don't think any of this is abused. It's just wear and tear on the trailer. But, I mean, that's what these trailers are made for, to go up and down the road. They're not made to sit still in a driveway someplace. So anyway, that's my review overall. One out of 10, I'd give my scamp trailer a nine. I've had a lot of fun in it. I've spent about, well, I've spent five months in it, so five times 30, that's 150 days. I've spent in this thing and 20,000 miles, which is a lot of miles. So overall, I love it. And get you a scamp trailer, you enjoy it. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and give me a thanks. Oh God, thank you. Anyway, that's it. Bye.